It's an eerie sound. The collective screams of people locked up. It was like a, a post-apocalyptic scene. Drones fly between high-rises, warning residents to control their desires for freedom. Public officials blast those who venture out. Access to food has been our major concern. And we don't know how long it will last. This is an all-out pursuit to stamp out COVID, and there's a lot riding on it. Xi Jinping feels like the most important thing is to establish political control. So when he says zero COVID, he, he expects everyone to follow. Shanghai is a wealthy cosmopolitan city. It's the financial hub of China and home to 25 million people. But since late March, it's been locked down with tens of thousands of cases a day. Supermarkets are shut, restaurants closed, and people are getting desperate for food. There are three ways to get food. One is government packages. They are welcome, but they are not enough. Food apps are intermittent at best. I would spend hours scurrying the apps. I will try to click on everything that I can, and if I'm fast enough, I get it. If I'm not fast enough, I don't get it. Wealthier residents are forming bulk buying collectives in their buildings and bringing in food by the truckload from wholesalers. So yesterday, we were able to place orders on a, a bread and some pork that hopefully is going to arrive today or tomorrow, but we don't know. <laughs> There's a real fear about what happens if you test positive. <laughs> Children were initially separated from their parents, but now everyone's taken to mass quarantine centres. In late March, Leona Cheng tested positive to COVID. And at night, the ambulance arrived and took me to the Fontan Hospital. It's a big warehouse with bright lights blazing 24 hours a day. Because they're around uh, 5,000 people there, I think it's very difficult for nurses and the doctor, doctors to manage us. They provide the necessary basic living conditions, like we have enough to eat and uh, we can sleep, we can walk around, we can talk with other people. But I just feel like, first, the hygiene situation is very terrible. We can't take shower there and the toilet is very, very, very dirty. I even try to not drink water. Zero COVID, meaning stamping out every instance of COVID, is unwinnable. But it's President Xi Jinping's personal mission. A lot of Chinese I know, they believe that there's a political component to what's happening. Later this year, he'll seek a third term in office, paving the way for him to become leader for life. And it also can be a message to everyone in Shanghai from the leaders in Beijing. We in Beijing, we are the ones calling the shots. If we want to lock you down, you are locked down. It could be a tough year in China. The war in Ukraine will drive up food prices and the economy is under pressure. But as the rest of the world opens up, Xi Jinping is betting his future on the success of COVID zero. I think Xi Jinping will opt to establish total control politically, even if it means economic loss. And that's, of course, a big gamble, a really big gamble, because uh, he might not be right in assessing the risk of that. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.